What is going on, everybody? It is Nick Chapel back for another episode of Nick Does Disney, where I am at Disney Springs this morning to Rope Drop Gideon's. That's right. You know, some people like to go to parks and rope drop parks and certain rides. I like to rope drop a bake shop. We are going to get the elusive coffee cake cookie, which is a morning exclusive for Gideon's. Super hard to get. You got to get here pretty in early in the morning to get one of those bad boys. But I'm here so early, I can't even get into Disney Springs yet. I rolled up in a lift at about 8.30 this morning, and I can't even get into Springs until 9. So I'm going to kill a little time, and when we get in, it's off to Gideon's we go. It is so cool to be here at Disney Springs so early in the morning. And it's Christmas all year here at Springs. All right, so they let us in this far, all the way up until the temperature screening checkpoint here. And in a few moments, it'll be a mad dash to get to Gideon's and get in line for quite a while. And boom, just like that, we are inside a very empty and early Disney Springs. And now it is a mad dash to get to Gideon's and see how far back we'll be. Because the parking garages are a lot closer, so I've got a much further walk. But man, it is really cool when you just kind of take it in. Like I'm the only person walking through Disney Springs right now. I was the first person to get through the temp check area. And then you get to see these glorious views because normally when you're here at night, it is wall to wall people, elbow to elbow. Right now, loads of space to stretch out. Now I am essentially power walking through Disney Springs right now. So does this count as like my morning cardio? and I can eat unlimited calories and grams of sugar. I'll be honest, I probably should have peed before I go get in this line. I'm looking at this fountain. It's not gonna help matters. All right, here we go. The moment of truth. How close will I be? It looks like I'm gonna be the first one. First one here at Gideon's. This is a glorious moment. You guys, this is my crowning achievement in life. I am going to be the first person inside Gideon's of the day. That's right, rope dropping Gideon's people. I'm very excited. You know me, I'm a fanboy. Number one fan over here for Gideon's. My crowning achievement in life. You know, a wife, two kids, all that, that's great. First one in Gideon's, priceless. All right, so it's just after nine o'clock. It is 9.07, so we have 53 minutes to get inside and uh, eat some tasty Gideon's, but it's gonna be well worth it, so the waiting begins. I could just sit here all day and listen to the music of Disney Springs. It's so relaxing. I listen to this loop all the time when I'm at home. By the way, 45 minutes still to go. Also, sitting here looking at Wine Bar George is making me super hungry because that restaurant is super duper good. I'm not a wine guy, so I don't drink the wine, but man, oh man, that food is good. All right, so while you wait, they will hand out these cool little menus too, so you kind of know what you're in store for before you go on inside to order. I'm going to flip this bad boy around if you can do this one-handed. There you go. So every month they do an exclusive cookie, and this month, I actually had this already. It's the peanut butter chocolate swirl. You can only buy two, and I'm going to buy two. They're that good. The main reason you want to get here early, though, is for that coffee cake cookie that I told you about. That's a morning exclusive. They've got an original chocolate chip, a peanut butter crunch cookie. They've got pistachio toffee, cookies and cream, triple chocolate, huge cake slices. And I think they have another exclusive for this weekend only. So I'm going to show you that. I'm not a coffee guy, so I won't get coffee, but we're going to get lots of cookies. 9.42. The wait continues. Speaking of things that I want, Chuck Lindsay's Hangar Bar. I've never been there before. That's, uh, that's on my bucket list for sure. Good morning. And we're in, you guys. Oh, the smells. All right, I gotta go order. Good morning. Good morning. Oh my goodness. Looks so good. So for today, you actually got to get eight cookies, guys. So of course, I got all eight, but how cool is this place? Again, it's like if Tim Burton opened a coffee shop. So cool. It's the full menu again. Just so much to see. I just wish I could spend all the time in here, but that's one of the things about being first. You don't have a ton of time to look around. Oh, that looks glorious. I 
fantastic. Very cool art that really creeps out my six-year-old. He gets scared in here, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so the goods have been acquired. Now let's go find a table and dive in, guys. All right, so I found a nice little table outside of World of Disney. The Gideon's has been acquired. Now it's time to unbag it and check it out. Yes, one person just bought all this, but don't worry, they freeze well, so a lot of this is coming home with me. Don't worry, I'm not gonna eat it all. All right, this bad boy is what we're gonna start with. This is the coffee cake cookie. It's a morning exclusive, so they only make a certain amount and then uh, they just run out and then they're sold out for the day. So typically they sell out in the first couple of hours. If you're lucky, they'll get to the early afternoon hours, but you gotta rope drop it, so to speak, just like I did. Coffee cake cookie, six bucks. Buttery vanilla bean cookie with cinnamon swirl and topped with homemade double baked butter crumbs. Every word of that is magical. So we're gonna break a piece off and see how it tastes. This smells so good. It just smells like butter and cinnamon. That's all it smells like. Bon appetit. Mm -mm -mm. My favorite cookie I've had at Gideon's was the Santa's White Christmas. That was their December monthly cookie. This is an everyday cookie. So out of the everyday cookies, I'm gonna say this is now my favorite. Again, it's a morning exclusive, so you can't get it throughout the day, but if you get here early enough, this is the one with, to go with, I should say. Helicopter coming over. It is just so soft and so moist and so buttery. You can see the uh, layers of like cinnamon in there. It's just so good. It's like regular coffee cake in cookie form, but like with even more butter and sugar. It's magical. And in a total rookie move, I forgot napkins. That's okay. That's what pants are for, right? You just wipe your hands on your pants like you're a kid. This is good stuff, but I'm gonna take another bite and show you more of what I got. But this is really what I wanted to show you. This is why you get here early. Coffee cake cookie. A, a 10 out of 10 is not even fair. You gotta go to like 20 out of 10. All right, so I'm not gonna eat all these other cookies, but I just wanted to show you, this is the March exclusive. This is the peanut butter and chocolate swirl, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's their triple chocolate mixed with the, like their original chocolate chip cookie dough. And it is one of my favorite monthly specials they put out so far. This and uh, the secrets, or the uh, Santa's White Christmas from December are uh, my two tops for monthly cookies anyway. So this is a good one. All right, so this is their classic chocolate chip cookie. I mean, pretty self-explanatory, right? And again, all these are about half a pound each, just loaded with chocolate chips, and the salt on there really makes it stand out. It's the most moist chocolate chip cookie you will ever eat. This, my friends, is another one of my favorite everyday cookies. This is the peanut butter crunch cookie, peanut butter dough with peanut butter chips on there. If you're a peanut butter fan like I am, this is uh, peanut butter heaven right here. Peanut butter nirvana. That's what this cookie should have been called. This is uh, one of my tops. But wait, there's more. What's inside this special box? Why are there two other cookies in an individual box? All right, so this little beauty is their St. Patrick's Day cookie. This is only available at the time that I'm here. So you won't be able to get this, but I just wanted to show it to you to see how beautifully crafted these cookies are. Again, they're all handmade from scratch. And this baby, they let marinate this cookie dough. They call it marinating it, just like you would like a steak or whatever, for a month. I'm not even kidding you. They freeze the cookie dough for a month. They say the flavors intensify that much more. It's got Amy's mints in there, and look at all the little green glitter for St. Patrick's Day. This is very reminiscent to the uh, Santa's White Christmas cookie that I keep referring to from December. It is absolutely, positively gorgeous. I don't think I'll take a bite now, because I don't want to get too indulgent with everything, but my oh my. A beautiful, beautiful cookie. Gideon's, they know how to make a mean cookie, man. All right, and last but not least, this is something that's not available on the menu right now. It's another weekend special. They've done it two weekends in a row now. They're kind of messing around with it to see if it'll be a, a permanent fixture. This is a cookie cake. That's right. It's a cookie inside. They dip it in chocolate. They drizzle it with peanut butter. Why don't we just, you know, go ahead and cut on in and see what it looks like inside and maybe have ourselves a nibble because, yeah, why not? Would you look at that? I don't have a fork but that is what it looks like in a cross section. Up top, that is peanut butter frosting. It looks like peanut butter chips in there as well. And the cookie at the base. And this is just, again, they make it into like a giant cookie cake slice. This looks wonderful. It's probably too early to eat this right now, but you know what they say, when in Rome. Mm. 
It is so good. If you love peanut butter like me, like I said, this is going to 100% be for you. That is a crazy amount of peanut butter flavor. And it's dipped in chocolate and the chocolate is nice and soft. It's not like super hard or solidified or anything like that. So it's not just like your normal cake. Like it's not a spongy kind of thing. It's definitely way heavier. So these slices aren't as big as their giant, uh, gigantic cake slices, but this is wonderful. The peanut butter frosting, by the way, reaching my bag of tricks here. You can buy these little bad boys. These are little containers of frosting. You can get the uh, vanilla buttercream, if I'm not mistaken, or the peanut butter, and you can spread it on some of the cookies as well, or just eat it straight. It doesn't matter. I'm not gonna judge you, but these cookie cake slices, again, they experimented with them last weekend. They're doing it again now. Again, this is the middle of March, and uh, hopefully they keep this thing on the menu because this is something I would get again and again and again. Good. All right, so I came in with a game plan to not eat this whole coffee cake cookie, which was the main reason I was here. This is all that's left. It's the last bite. Now it's gone. No regrets. All right, so there you go. That is my morning review of Gideon's. The reason you get here again is that coffee cake cookie, uh, they usually sell out within the first couple of hours. So if you wanna get it, you need to get here early and the Disney buses don't start till 10. So do like I did if you want it, just get a lift, get down here early, wait in line. It is worth it because they sell out fast. So Gideon's, good as always. And oh, by the way, they freeze really well. So if you're like me, just load up on them, bring them home, throw them in your freezer. Then you defrost it for two to three hours and it tastes just as good as the minute you buy it here. So that's another little insider tip for you because they let you buy six. So load up, take them home, you're good to go. All right, so now I'm gonna throw it back to myself in the past. I mentioned earlier in this video, I went to Everglaze not long ago try out their donuts since we're doing a whole breakfasty kind of thing coffee cake cookie now let's take a look at some donuts so i'm gonna throw it to nick in the past over at everglaze all right thanks nick from the past this is nick in the future at everglaze donuts and cold brew since we're doing a you know morning gideon's video i figured why not also show some very fun breakfast food like donuts because everybody loves donuts quick little look inside this is where all the magic happens look at them making all these tasty looking donuts in there now we're going to go inside and get an even closer look. Oh my goodness, you guys, the smells in here, the smells in here. It smells so good. Look at that giant wall of donuts back there. They've got classic donuts. They've got Funky Bunch, which is a bunch of very cool, super crazy toppings on there. So we're gonna try a couple of things out. So if you're looking for breakfast and if you want some crazy donuts that'll fill you up, Everglades might be the place to be. Not a ton of seating indoors. Kind of small, but they have a very cool little patio outside that I'll show you in a moment. And loads and loads of coffees and drinks in here. They've got breakfast sandwiches as well. Yes. Look at this cool little grass wall. I don't know why I like it, but I like it. What you are about to see is donut and sugar explosion just everywhere. Just an abomination of sugar. <laughs> These donuts are huge. Let me show you. It is never going to show up on camera how gigantic these donuts are. It is insane. This is the Oreo Supreme. This is off the Funky Bunch. So is the other one as well. These are their more extravagant donuts, if you will. Obviously, it's got Oreo pieces in there, vanilla frosting. It's got whipped cream on top and on top of a glazed donut. This is also on top of a glazed donut. This is the Reese's Explosion. It's got a Reese's cup on top. It's got the frosting on there, the peanut butter chips. These things are gigantic. I'm not going to eat them all because we just got Gideon's as well. So I'm going to take a couple of bites and we'll save the rest for our breakfast for another day because who that big? This could last you a few days. Again, I can't begin to tell you how gigantic these donuts are. Shield your eyes if you're diabetic, but I'm a Reese's guy. I'm a peanut butter guy. So obviously I'm going to go for this whole Reese's thing first. What was it called? I already forgot. Like the Reese's explosion, something like that. I knew I put the description up so you can see it there. I'm trying to get a piece out of this little plastic container. It's hard to get it out, but we got a piece. Oh my gosh, there's peanut butter chips going everywhere. Let's see how it is. Mmm. Wow. Now I know the thing here is like the donuts are over the top with all the 
toppings they put on there. I mean, there's a whole Reese's cup and there's frosting, and peanut butter and chips and chocolate chips and all that. But the donut itself is so light and so fluffy and so fresh, it is not stale at all. It's a really good donut. Never mind everything else that's on there. It's a solid donut. All right, so I ate the Reese's one and now it is time to move on to the Oreo Supreme. This thing is huge, whole Oreo on top. It's got, uh, it's not whipped cream, it is vanilla icing and a bunch of crushed up Oreos on there. I'm more of a Reese's guy, but uh, I think this is gonna be good. So let's get on in there, see how it tastes. Got a piece of the Oreo, got the donut, got the icing. It's a mess. But it is darn good. These are fantastic donuts. I mean, again, everything else that goes on there, it's like all for show, kind of. With all the accoutrements, if you will, all the crazy toppings, but the donut itself is really, really good. Mmm. This is absolutely wonderful. I could eat this all day. Now, hopefully, it stays fresh, because like I said, I've eaten a lot already today, so I'm gonna take these back and have them at another time, but Everglaze, if you're looking for good donuts, this is the place to be. I have icing all over my mouth. It's good. All right, thanks, Nick, from the past. So there you go, that was Everglaze as well, and Everglaze has some fantastic donuts. There was a lot of sugar in this video. If you're a diabetic, I apologize. That was like sugar overload, but Gideon's is uh, never a bad option when you're in Disney Springs. I tell you this all the time, there are so many places you could get dessert here. Like I'm looking at Ghirardelli right now if you wanted to go get a nice little sundae. Uh, all the restaurants have fantastic desserts. There are sweets and treats all over Disney Springs, but Gideon's is always gonna be at the top of my list, so highly recommend that. Everglaze, super solid as well. So coffee cake cookie, donuts, a lot of sweet treats for early in the morning here at Disney Springs. And that is gonna do it for me for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I've got loads more videos to show you and many more reviews to come. But for now, I will talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. Nick Does Disney. Have a great day, everybody.